Andy, it's been a, a very trying 24 hours, I imagine, for anybody. But before we get into all of that, just talk to us about the performance tonight. And even though you lost the game, there was a lot of credit to be out there for the players. Absolutely. Yeah, as you say, um, a, a tough 24 hours for everyone to, to digest the news. Um, but football moves on and we, we knew that we had a, a really important game to prepare for. The first game of a, a four game mini season, so to speak. Um, so we've, we've tried to use the time really wisely and prepare for this game with, with a plan to, to come here and frustrate the opposition for long periods, which we did. Could have been better without the ball, absolutely, in, in key moments where we, we, we could have maybe got into really good transitions. We, we, we didn't, and I think it, it may be told in the second half. But in terms of the effort of the group, the togetherness of the group, the support of each other, the, the, all the players travelled down here today, um, the, the guys who were impact players, the guys who were injured or suspended, they were all here. There was, there was a togetherness before the game and we have to maintain that for the rest of the season. The first half in particular was was a very big difference from some of the other performances. What was your message to the players just before they went out on the pitch is what you wanted them to do, not just tactically, but in, in terms of their spirit? Yes, as I say, we've had three or four meetings at the hotel over the last 24 hours, um, meetings about what we can do in possession and out possession. But then before the game, it was more about their individual motivation and it shouldn't really matter who's in front of them delivering a message. They should have their own motivation. They should have their own motivation throughout the career, whether they're doing it for themselves, their parents, their families, their kids. But just as important as that for each other as well. So the guy next to you, you need to be prepared to work for him today because he's going to do the same for you. And if we could guarantee those basics, we knew we'd come here and make it really difficult for them. Um, so I think getting in goal, uh, get, getting in front before half time, obviously give everyone a boost. But the half time was, was calm, reiterating some messages which were important. We knew the second half would be even more challenging. Um, but to concede in that first period of the second half, meant we were right in the back foot, but I don't remember Aidan having to make a, a lot of what you would say proper saves. There was a lot of defending of our box. I think that the, the three centre-backs, the two wing-backs, the two deep midfield players and the three attackers all did a sterling job of defending our box and made it as difficult as we could for them. But they've got quality players and they're at the top of the league for a reason. They've got a group who can impact the game from the bench. They've got players who won't be involved tonight and they were relentless and they kept going uh, and they got a decision given to them um, in terms of the penalty, which, which gets them the winning goal. Uh, word for young James Plant as well, with that first senior start, but didn't look like it was his first senior start. James has grown so much on and off the pitch um, in the last eight or nine months I think he's personal skills the way he's as a as a 17 year old lad he's a very mature young man he takes on information really well I spoke to him this morning and said sometime you've got to make your debut and obviously having Tom Pep ruled out this morning meant that we had a position within our team where someone had to fill it and we looked at the qualities of the players and what we thought we would need today and we needed someone who was prepared to run and chase and tackle and represent the club with real pride and, and himself with real pride and he, and he can walk away from here tonight thinking that's a, re a really good start to my, my Port Vale career in terms of starts. I'm sure he will have learned a lot from the opposition players. I thought he, he was supported really well by the skipper next to him and the experienced players in around him uh, and he has to use that now as a building block for, for his next game. A new face on the bench for you as well. Just tell us a, a little bit about who that was and, and, and what role they performed. Yeah, as you say, it's been a a challenging period of time at the football club um, and I looked at it and obviously I needed to get some support for, for myself and for the rest of the coaching team and for the players and I've worked with John Schofield before he's an infectious coach he's an infectious personality he'll bring something different to, to us to our group and he can impact both on and off the grass. So, yeah, delighted he's come to work with me. I trust him 100%. Uh, and, and when the players get to know him more, that they, they will really appreciate his qualities. Last couple of things, as you've already said, challenging 24 hours now. Um, from your perspective, what's it been like in terms of how busy it's been and, and what's been laid at your door in all of this? Listen, I, I, I've given a task to, to, to lead the group for the next four games. And, and, and the task in hand is to make sure that we... Uh, pers persevere League One status. We we've now got a, a three-game mini league. Everything that we can, can control individually and collectively, we have to do. 
our destiny is in our hands. Um, the performance tonight will give everyone belief um, and faith in that this group of players and this group of staff are going to do everything they can for the remaining three games of the season to, to achieve that goal.